Hey guys, it's Nessa or Nessa Ellison and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be filming what's in my purse. This is my little MK bag. I had it for a while and never used it and I need a new everyday purse. I feel like it's girly enough to have like, um, like a new accessory type thing. Like an everyday purse, I feel like that's like a grown woman thing. I'm getting there but like many steps and this is really cute and it's simple it's not too much so in this video i'll be talking about what i put in here what i take out um why i chose this purse pros and cons and you know showing you what's in my bag so let's get into the video before i get into this video i wanted to read some descriptions of this bag because this is technically after the video but i feel like it gives you a better grasp so you guys just know what this purse is so this is michael Kors leather shoulder bag it is called lily made of black leather gold tone hardware it has flat handles and chain link shoulder straps it has logo jackboard lining and eight interior pockets it snap closes at the top originally i had filmed like everything that i removed from my other purses like because usually i wear my purses as like accessories to like outfits so i was showing you guys um purses that i basically had before so in the thumbnail you'll still see those purses basically i emptied out those purses to make the michael kors bag this right here let me just do an honorable mention for this this has been my um stayed and true bag like i'm gonna use it only for work now like sometimes i'll use it when i'm running errands but i'm gonna be using the bag i'm gonna sh this video is about the bag this video is about is the new bag that i'm gonna be using but this bag i got it from shein it was like four dollars or something and i've only ordered from shein like twice two orders two separate orders and this was like the second order and this bag gets so much hate but nobody sees my bag at work that's why i feel comfortable going to work with this like it's so you know like it's bad it's linty and the zipper is like like anybody can get into the bag there's no real you know security but i emptied this bag out basically and now let's get into the um diamond piece of this video i'm not one for name brands and all that but i feel like this is a really cute purse um it gets the job done and it feels really nice like this feels like genuine leather um i've only noticed like small little you know things that have happened to it but i really don't mind um i'm not a fan of logos i feel like i might take this off because you can take it off like it's quite well i think you can take oh i guess you have to no i think you can take it off this is the bag right here and it feels really really nice like let me give you guys a close-up of like the bag it has stuff in it so you know be mindful of that but it's a little heavy though like these right here these right here make it super duper heavy and well not duper heavy but compared to the bag that i had before that shein bag and no hate on shein because i shop plt fast fashion everywhere right but this is really good um only things i've noticed are like right here this color is like changing i don't know if you guys can tell but like right here it's kind of like silvering out and then this right here but that's just like a main thing and then on the inside we have a little bit of frame right here like on the logo itself there's like two little things right here you see that yeah but um i'm gonna be giving you guys like everything that's in this purse so this is like a little peek inside you really can't see anything because everything's kind of black or you know tucked away but yeah i'm gonna basically be walking you through what's in my bag so this is like what it looks like on the inside and all throughout the bag it has this micro cores you know just repeating basically just repeating over and over again and then it has these this is like you know where it snaps to shut this and this and then it has um it has one two three four five different compartments so right here there's like i'm going to show you guys more in detail like when i'm taking it out hopefully it makes more sense it has a zipper part up here and then let me take this out so you guys can see better and then there's 
two compartments, so like here and then here. And then on this side, there's this compartment and then this compartment. So I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can see. Um, the first thing that I took out so you guys could see, you know, so you guys can better see the bag is this right here. This is my wallet. It just sits on top. I don't carry cash in my purse. I only carry cash when I know I'll need it. And if I have cash on me, it's really nothing. Like, it's really nothing. Like, there's no money on me for real. Like, I might have like $5 on me. This is a very dingy wallet. It's seen many things, but it's stuck by me. It's stuck by me this whole time. Um, we call her Lucy. Lucy has stuck by me this whole time. And I'm going to have to let Lucy go very soon. I'm trying to find a cuter wallet because I um, went to Marshall's the other day. But all their wallets are kind of like the ones I went to. All their wallets are kind of big like this. And I want something like I could easily put in my pocket. It's like small. And it's like I could maybe tuck it in my bag rather than just placing it on top. But this is a cute little wallet. I don't know what this is though. i don't know the brand i feel like the brand was once here <laughs> but could it have been or was it just no brand like this wallet has been with me since 20 i want to say 20 at least 2017 because ever since i got a wallet the last wallet i had before this was like when i lived in new jersey and i only had that wallet for like maybe a month and it was a Minnie mouse wallet and i didn't have any money i just wanted the wallet because it had Minnie mouse on it and i was young and don't know what happened to that wallet don't know if that wallet is still with us r.i.p to Minnie, but she's no longer with us basically i have both my ids so like right here and right here and then i have this georgia state card which i still have my id for georgia state i'm probably gonna go grab the one from kennesaw as well because why do i have this one and not the school that i actually go to this is um my gsu panther card and my picture is absolutely horrid, but I'll show you guys. I lost my original ID, so I had to walk up in there on the first day and take this picture. Like, ew. And a picture of my man right here. And then my insurance card is basically behind this. Um, this picture of him. I can't really show y'all that because, you know, private information on the internet. This is a receipt that I'm going to trash. So, this is the other roll section and then this section and that's it for the flap and then we get into the wallet so we have these three you know subsections you can put stuff in here this is what the inside pattern looks like what is this you know i, I be really bored at work sometimes you guys especially since i work like the morning shift it's like i don't see many people this is what i made and then this is what it looks like on the inside Past that, we have this little zipper part right here, and that has the pattern. It's probably terribly stained because I had this for so many years. And liquid products like lip gloss, whatever, blush, liquid blush. And this is the very front. I don't have anything in this wallet other than cards. And then this is the back right here. It snaps open like so. And then the pattern again. My wallet, that's the very, that's the biggest thing really in um, my bag. So I think I'll go biggest to smallest. So the next big thing is actually right here. It is this Barcelona pouch that my godmom brought back from Barcelona. And at first I was using, as, using this as a pencil pouch, but I decided to do it as like a, like little beauty, beauty pouch. I call it a beauty pouch. And so this is all the stuff that I have in here. Come on. Um, I have chapstick in here as well. I have two, two Burt's Bees. I have one mango and one regular, or vitamin E and peppermint. This right here is Natives uh, Coconut and Vanilla. I got this back in Florida. Honestly, I would only use this. I keep it in this pouch because I'm like, oh, if something happens, like if I forget. Um, I just don't really like it i feel like coconut like i feel like when it heats up it has a really weird smell so i wouldn't recommend this one but maybe like if they have different scents um that are this small i was actually going to call essentials because this is my favorite deodorant and so i was going to call them 
and ask them like can you guys make mini versions and if you do like where do you sell them at our business hours are monday through friday from 9 a.m to 5 p.m eastern time please call again during these hours i need one for like traveling or like just to put in my bag because i saw a tiktok on this person calling for miss vicky and they were gonna send them coupons i'm gonna get sent coupons for essentials because i love essentials then i have this fan fest i mean benefit fan fest mascara um it has a cute little bended wand see that Ooh. so i really like it especially for my curly lashes i have an edge brush because and how you have an edge brush without you know your edge product so this is the product that i use this is actually what i use like to slip like this is literally what i use i only used a little bit today because or this time around because first of all it's nighttime bless me first of all it's nighttime and secondly like i don't know basically this is the one that i use blue is my favorite one i feel like it has a perfect hold and sometimes it'd be turning white but i just add a little bit of water like the smallest bit and i just tap it Gone. um i also have this little Jo malone but i'm gonna switch it out to well i still have a little in here so it's the smallest bit you can barely see it but it's this Jo malone travel size I'm probably gonna refill this one if it's a refillable one. I don't think this one is, but I have refillable ones with my um, Marc Jacobs perfume. This hair clip because as a natural girl, sometimes I just like let it. Like when I wear my um, mini fro, like the wash and go, I sometimes let the clip just stay in my hair like that. Not like that, but something like that. And then when I get to my destination, I take it out and I throw it somewhere. So better it be in my purse than just in my car because then imagine getting home and then you have to go back downstairs or you have to go back into the parking lot to get your hair clip when it could just be in your purse this this is basically done but this is basically for uh people like me i'm sometimes very well no not sometimes i like to keep moisturizing things around me and still be ashy but this right here i use it quite often that's why it's basically done this was sent to me by lana lips but this is the multi balm strawberry it's usually used as like a lip ointment but if you have like cracks between your fingers like especially around winter time when it's cold or like if you work somewhere that you really have to wash your hands often um it's a little thicker so i feel like it holds better like you don't get dry from it as quick also have this lip gloss in there let me put some because i feel like my face is shiny and my lips are like what what's going on yeah um love this because i feel like i think they saw this at Dolly Tree. i think i feel like i saw it there i have this nail brush that uh the girl that did my nails don't look at them now like they're really well they're not really old but they're definitely grown out but the girl that did my nails emerald says her name's emily and she's a taurus and she told me to like brush my nails with these so i've been brushing my nails but like sometimes when i'm out in public it's like i get food underneath my nails it's like it's better if i can just wash it so i keep this on me there we go so barcelona pouch is our hygiene pouch and that's that next i have this right here which is my umbrella it was actually my other bag i was looking for it for like a whole month and for the past three i want to say like even four days it's been raining like crazy in georgia like in and out not crazy but like just and it's like if i just did my hair why would i want it to rain like i feel bad when i see people that just had their hair done and it starts raining or it's just been really humid so yeah this is my little um umbrella from totes i've had this for couple years so in this zipped up compartment i have two pads um i feel like i'm a pad girl tampons they just kind of like i feel like i'll forget and so i feel like with a pad it brings you to that level where it's like oh it's uncomfortable like mental note take that off so but whatever you are i just feel like two is a good number because you could be a girl's girl like if somebody has an accident and then on top of that it's like you have one for yourself still i have some gloves in here because i have them in my other bag and my aunt wants me to hold these because sometimes like i don't know in case of emergencies or like if i'm pumping gas she wants me to pump them with this also, although i already have some in my car 
I'll just keep some in my purse as well. This sunscreen, which actually expires at the end of this month, but this sunscreen, I bought it back in Florida. I feel like I've gotten really good use of the sunscreen. It's oily, yes, but I feel like it really works and it's just, it's oily but lightweight in a way. Well, it expires this month. I'm saying that it expires the end of this month, but it just says 0524, so. And there's only a little bit left, like literally, if I were to put it right here, like you hear the noise. But yeah, it's pretty oily. And last but not least, I have this mirror right here. It's actually supposed to be one of the ones that you put on like your mirror or somewhere so you can see closer or whatnot, but I don't know. I just kind of keep it because like I, my lashes fall into my eyes all the time just anything could happen really so mirror is a girl's best friend and that's it for that part I'm just gonna so then opposite side of the zipper we have this these two sections right here so in here i have my airpod case it's very dirty i want to get a new one but i want one that's still like this case is just so nostalgic to me i just love it like i don't know what it is about it but it's so dirty like look at it and then this is like this doesn't you know stick anymore but i don't know it's my airpod pros they're in my drawer in my bathroom right next to that i have this which is liquid mousse there's barely any in here but i have a big size at home so this is like let's say because you guys know i used to wear wigs often and just because like for example like my best friend she wears wigs sometimes so it's like if we have like a little emergency it's just like spritz spritz but like my aunt she's now wearing wigs so it's like if you have a little emergency spritz spritz lay it down with the two compartments in the front i have this right here which is a little notepad i stole from my um auntie it's just you know it's got some this is just the most random thing ever because i've never seen her anywhere near gwinnett tech and i don't know anybody that she knows that goes to gwinnett tech but she has gwinnett tech merch so then i have um two pencils and one pen right next to it because it just makes sense right like if you're reaching for like let's say you're giving somebody like your socials or you're giving somebody some information it's like one two you know and i believe that's it for this bag that's it for this bag now i'm just going to show you guys like what the inside looks like emptied out so this is what it looks like I'm gonna put everything back into this bag just how I had it before sunscreen and the mirror so technically you guys are rearranging my bag with me as well I think that was it for that section so I'm gonna zip that one up the pencils wait oh yeah the pencils and pen notepad <clears throat> actually I'm gonna move this to like the this right here like the little zip up part because i feel like if i accidentally spray it because it doesn't have you know the thing you put on there and i don't have one in here i don't think so i'm gonna put it in there so i don't accidentally spray it and my bag is just like sticky or smell like spit spray this one's still on the bag in the middle well actually i'm gonna put my wallet all the way at the bottom i don't use my wallet i'm an apple pay girly and that's why you probably won't see me like having cash and then my barcelona and then the umbrella and then this can go right in front of the zipper part and i think that's it for this part and then you just buckle it together like that so this bag is fully packed this is the michael kors lily shoulder bag and um black leather and i hope you guys enjoyed this video all right you guys so that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed um let me know what's in your bag what you like that was in my bag what should i add to my bag and most important of all where can i get a really cute small you know minimalist um card holder or wallet because i just want something really simple that i don't have to worry too much about thank you again for watching stay tuned for the next video and i will see you guys in my next upload okay i love you bye peace